All right, here we go. So I am playing Vanquish Souls, and my opponent is playing Emancipator. Now, Emancipator is one of those decks that take so fucking long to set up. Like, while you're playing against an Emancipator player, they're just summoning, 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 searching, going through the graveyard, reviving, searching. Like, bro, this deck takes so fucking long to set up. They have so much patience to build their board, but when you start breaking their fucking board, they're out with the swiftness. They don't have no patience to watch their board get fucking disintegrated in seconds at that. Like, when you break their shit, you break it in seconds. Like, if you drop them, bro, if you drop a fucking spear mode on that shit on three of their big monsters, you drop one spear mode. They, they, bro, they quit that bitch before it even hits the field all the way. You know how you see the effect of the card like hitting the, the fucking board? They already have left the match before that shit hits the board, bro. Like that's how quick them bitches rage quit when you, when you break their board. Now, and like I say, they text these bitches like, bro, they got more patience, bro. They got more fucking patience to build this shit than whatever. So he activates a Abyss Dweller. Now I got two types of cards in this entire deck that utilizes the graveyard. One is this card you see in my hand right here, this Druid's Worm. The other one, I do not use the graveyard effect for the simple fact that it locks me into Warriors Monsters. And I only have this monster in my entire deck. That can be summoned off of its effect. So I never actually use that second effect. But whatever. Here we go. So he goes Baron the floor. And then he. Baron the floor. Hey. This is, this is the universal. Negate. Omni negator right here. And then he brings out Dragite. Now. So far. This deck look. I mean, this this board looks kind of kind of intimidating, right? Except he gets zero value out of this. The motherfucker never went into like, bro. If he would have used this as a material to make an Appaloosa, and then did this shit and then revived or whatever, bro, he'd have had a better board, right? But he didn't. Or if he had at some point made an Appaloosa. He'd have probably had a little bit better board. He probably could have survived what he was about to get. <laughs> but, oh yeah, by the way, this card right here <laughs> has a specialty to it. This motherfucker cannot, and I know this because I play Sword Soul and I use Dragite in my Sword Soul deck. But he has to have a water in his grave for this shit to activate. When he was building his board, I never once saw a single water monster hit this motherfucker's graveyard only earth monsters and then the one wind synchro everything else is earth so what does that mean that means that my druid's worm can't activate and this motherfucker's emancipator dragite can't activate so he's fucked he's got one negate on field bro and then his abyss dweller and whatever the fuck this is and then his revive effect off of sprite elf but since the motherfucker didn't go into ip mascarena he can't even use that like he can't do shit bro he's got one negate right here what a dumbass 20 minutes to set up this piece of shit board all i gotta do is use the one card that i know will bait out this baron de floor negate it has to bait out his baron de floor negate because Bro, it's rate soft, bro. Like, Cash Tier Fenrir is about to hit the field. He has to do something about that. Would you would you allow me to cook your shit with Cash Tier monsters? No. Because he don't know what I'm playing. He don't know that I'm not actually playing Cash Tier. He thinks that killing Fenrir has just fucked me over. And then he instantly called by the graves that shit. That's how afraid of this shit you are, bro. So I go ahead and activate Raisin. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Even if I do destroy these two hoes, guess what? Guess what? 
I'm getting a two for one first, bitch. Yo shit got Yo shit got clapped up, my boy. So then I'm going to go ahead and grab Caesar Valleyus, activate the heavy burger to grab one more card, activate that reinforcement of the army to grab another racing, just just to you know get this effect right here. Go ahead and summon out Dr. Mad Love. Dr. Mad Love is going to grab Snow Devil. Snow Devil is just just so you can't get back into the game on your turn, bro. That means that when Snow Devil hits the field and it gives me all three effects, and trust me, I'll get all three effects out of that bitch, my boy. For show, for show. When that bitch hits the field, destroys all your fucking monsters, and then none of my monsters can be destroyed by card effects, which means you have to attack over that shit. My boy, you have to attack over everything, and I get to burn you. <laughs> so look at that i was gonna take that shit down and and attack and like i said when you start breaking their board they're out this bitch bro they want you to sit through their whole fucking build up but when you start breaking through their shit this is what you see right here <laughs> they want you to sit through all that shit bro and then out this hole they out this hole as soon as you start breaking through that board. Let, let's look at this shit, bro. Just straight fucking toxicity. Nothing but just fucking negates on top of negates. On top of fucking negates. On top of fucking negates. On top of negates. With all the toxic shit in this deck. All the toxic shit in this deck. And all the time on their hands to build their board. But no patience to fucking play against your board they got their board breakers in here they got every fucking thing right whatever all right now let's look at what i cook this bitch with vanquish soul and like i say bro his abyss dweller did fucking nothing bro like you jump the gun on abyss dweller this is the only card that can activate in the graveyard other than the Druish Worm, Druish Worm, of course, sends something to the grave that my opponents control if this card gets sent to the grave. And then this card right here. And I would never, this is the reason I said I would never actually use this card's effect for the graveyard. I never even used this card like that. This is specifically just a card to search for a fire for me. I don't use the graveyard effect because guess what? The graveyard effect locks me. So see what that says? For the rest of this turn except warrior monsters so i can't special summon you cannot special summon monsters for the rest of this turn except warrior monsters how many warrior monsters do i have in this fucking deck right that's a fairy that's a wing beast that's an insect that's a zombie that's a warrior that's one warrior right there rise heart what can I do with Rise Heart? Not a damn thing. This is just a card that sits in my hand and I just continue to reveal that bitch forever in this deck. Um, Vanquish Soul Raisin is a warrior monster. That's a beast warrior, which does not count. A fiend, a worm, a worm, dragon, dragon, psychic, machine, and a dragon. So basically, no. I would never ever use this effect because it would just lock me into basically raisin, right? Maybe on my opponent's turn, it could be cool, but I summon shit on my opponent's turn, so I don't want to lock myself into fucking warriors. This is just a search, or I use it for the first effect, right? So him shotgunning out of Biz Dweller does absolutely fucking nothing to me. And he was about to get his entire board broken, like... GG's my boy. Hold this L forever. Hold this L. My boy gotta hold that L forever, my boy.